Yeah, let me first clarify what, what we mean by policy redirection, uh, because so far, all the policy debates uh, focus on the magnitude of the fiscal and monetary stimulus. Right? Uh, clearly, China has been, so far, has been very measured uh, in terms of uh, fiscal and uh, monetary actions. Uh, of course, f uh, increasing the magnitude of fiscal and monetary is, is helpful. Uh, but we argue this is not the most important thing. The more important part is policy redirection, uh, meaning that a more balanced policy support between consumption and investment, and also between services and the manufacturing. Uh, because so far, the policy has been biased to support the manufacturing, uh, manufacturing innovations, and also support the investment activity. And that, uh, if you look at the macro data, one of the uh, continuous problem is that uh, the deflation pressure, right? The, because of the imbalance between uh, supply and demand, and also because of the uh, policy headwinds in the number of service sector in recent years, that has been causing big pressure for the employment, and right? particularly for the uh, the, the high skilled laborers, uh, including college. Uh, college graduates, and that also affect the income expectation. That's the reason why the consumption, uh, the, the sentiment is still very weak. So we argue that the policy redirection, a more balanced support, uh, particularly uh, meaning that more support for cons consumption and more uh, uh, more uh, benign uh, policy for the uh, service sector, that's more important. So I, I see that uh, there's some interesting uh, changes very recently. So for example, the recent news regarding mortgage refinancing, as I just clarified, is not yes. about, about policy to housing market, it's more about the supporting housing consumption. Uh, we also know there's actually the government policy towards a uh, gaming industries and the education tutorial business becoming more yes. supported. Uh, very different from the, the more uh, negative attitude in recent years. So I see that uh, this is a, probably the beginning of the policy duration, and we hope actually this uh, uh, policy adjustment will continue, and that's uh, important to revive the uh, market confidence and support economic growth.